Okay, I've had quite a few questions about finding a low voltage short on these gas furnaces. Uh, people will have the fuse that's on the uh, integrated furnace control blow and they can't figure out why. So I'm going to go through a few reasons why that fuse may blow. Now, I'm going to note right on this furnace, and this is a uh, uh, carrier, Bryant Daynight Pain uh, sort of furnace. Notice right there we have a 5, and that's an automotive type fuse. That's the fuse we're talking about. And I'm going to show you using some other integrated furnace controls. Okay, here's another control out of a furnace. And here's your terminal board right here. Notice you'll have a fuse right there. It says 3 on it for 3 amps. That's just another style. Here's another style here with your low voltage here. And... Uh, this one I don't believe has a fuse on the board. The fuse will actually probably be at the uh, transformer if there is a fuse. Uh, these wires all here are going to be high voltage wires. Uh, these are also high voltage wires. We're not going to be concerned with those. Uh, the only thing we'll be concerned with is these terminals here and possibly the plug there. Let's look at another one. Okay, here's another one here. I think this is... Uh, off an Arco. It's actually inner furnace, but inner city furnace, but uh, this is a White Rogers control. And it has that same row here. It's just got this cover over it. It's a little different. This is the same row of high voltage uh, connections and also down here. You can see that terminal board right there. Pretty much the same thing as these others. This one has a transformer mounted on it. Okay, this control here is a general replacement White Rogers integrated furnace control. Here's your low voltage terminal board down here. Okay, right here is the low voltage fuse and this is the uh, plug. This plug here, uh, you know, several of these things have this plug. Sometimes they're a mixture of 24 volt and 110. These plugs up here are almost always uh, 120 uh, circuits. So, uh, we may be unplugging this plug when we're doing the troubleshooting on this thing to find out if there's a problem in that system. But this, that's just several different controls and how they're set up. Okay, here's your terminal board with the wiring to it. Now I've got G right there, I've got R right there, I've got Y right there. And I've got W and I've got my blue common. Okay, this is where my fuse goes. It's right in there like that. Okay, and that's the fuse that I've been blowing. So here's what I'm going to do. I mean, you can just buy a whole bunch of fuses and do this until you find out what the problem is, but I don't really like to do waste all those fuses. I'm going to put a jumper wire like this across here. Now you got to be careful about this because if you do this and there is a short, then it's probably going to take out some wires or a component. So I'll show you the special way I have of setting this up so we don't have that problem. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clamp meter around this wire and when I want to test something I will I have the door switch right here now door switches are oftentimes there sometimes they're on the side of the furnace or on the side of the front panel they're made to shut the power off to the furnace when you open that panel where the blower is uh, and remember there are 120 volt circuits down here, so you got to be a little bit careful here. Plus, you got a rotating fan if this thing's running. So, I've got my clamp meter clamping one of these wires, 
when I want to do a test I'm going to go like this when I do that that's going to turn that switch on and give power now if I read a reading here where I've got a dead short which may be six or eight amps or whatever the heck I don't want to leave this switch on I immediately just shut the switch off because then I won't destroy any components or wiring so the first thing I'm gonna do when I start this out is I'm gonna take all these wires off except common okay in the next video we'll start showing some of the operations to see if we can find the short